Welcome back to Money Matters. I'm Judy Kanhai. The owner of PCL Pharmacy says medicine supplies have been continuously increasing prices because of the exchange rate and they have reached to such an extent that some customers are now unable to purchase medicine. Have you seen any sort of price adjustments or upward price adjustments given mm. the exchange rate right now? Well, we have been seeing from one or two companies, uh, some of the major companies, a uh, significant increase in prices, but not all the companies. More or less, we are finding that the, the companies that had regular increases over the last four months have more or less stabilized, but there are companies, yes, that are increasing their prices by as much as 10 to 15 percent still. Can you give an example as to what was the price before for maybe a well, popular medicine that people would come to your pharmacy we to have, buy? We have some um, diabetic medications, the brand name ones, I don't want to call the name, but um, having a jump from uh, approximately $2.90 per tablet to about three fifty, we have some circulatory medication from similar companies, brand name products increasing from about 275 to over 350 so we're talking about uh, a 75 cents increase from 250 to 350. What feedback are you getting from customers because obviously they'll be feeling the pinch that well, the prices of medicine is going they're up. They're feeling the pinch on everything not just medicines but at the end of the day some of these things they cannot do without. We are getting inconsistent supplies from the government supply and uh, they have no alternative but to purchase. Some patients may be able to purchase the cheaper medications and get results, a lot don't. In that event, they have to ban their bellies and really buy what is needed. How long have you been in the pharmacy industry? Oh, um, 30 to 35 years. What are your projections with prices this year when you look at what happened mm. last year? Um, things, hopefully it wouldn't, but more than likely things are going to get worse because the the state of the economy is depressed. People's disposable income is not sufficient to meet their demands and their needs. Even for us businessmen, I am experiencing significant costs in my liabilities. And I'll just give you an example. In the event that we may have robberies, insurance companies are carrying up their rates. If you put in a claim, either they don't insure you or you pay the increased rates. We have to look at avenues to secure in our money by, um, by hiring the security companies to deposit and drop our money to ensure safety. We have to increase our security systems. In here, like recently, I had to install two lock boxes to put in the DVRs boxes because if they break into your premises, they're taking the security system. We had to install steel bars to the back of the premises and to the front. So those are increased costs to me, which I am not reflecting in my prices to my customers. But eventually you would have to pass this on to our customers no, because it's going to cut an entry bottom line. That, no, I, I can't. I can't say, well, you have to pay more for a particular product because I am experiencing increased costs. The only increased cost my customers get is when medications or anything that I sell goes up, standard markup, price will go up. So, so whatever costs you incur we have to outside, absorb. you absorb. Well, I, I would absorb and I would imagine most of my colleagues but do the same thing. But how long can you continue to do this? Because it is going to well, cut into your profit. If you are having a one-shot increase per year in your insurance and a one-shot increase in protection devices and equipment, it's fine. But if you have to keep modifying and making changes on an ongoing basis and increasing, it is difficult to pass on that cost to our customer. Right? So you may ultimately have to look at your expenditure, your liabilities and your profit and decide if it's viable to continue in business. So how much do you spend annually on security? On security measures and, and everything involved in money and transportation and I would say maybe about 30 to 40 thousand dollars. You're projecting that medicine prices would go up this year again? I am from, projecting from medicine prices would go up supplies. because it is the general feeling of myself and colleagues as well as you know reputable people that I, I deal with that we may have 
further increases, if not a permanent increase in the, the US dollar. Presently, we are bordering on 677 to 680, as much as 690. And if the dollar becomes devalued, dear boss, or higher, things are going to get very bad. For some people who really cannot afford to pay the increased prices, mm. what are you going to see? What are, what are you expecting to see customers who say, you know, they well, just can't afford? It may sound Do you unbelievable. Get cases like that where I have say, many cases like that. And in instances where they're not able to access CDAP or any other form of free medication, I use from the CDAP and I give them free of charge and I give free out of my pocket. Because I think your business can develop and grow more by being charitable. People who are really needy and need things, I will never turn them away. When we come back, we talk to one taxi driver who tells us why she decided to become an Uber driver. Money Matters will be right back.